All right, bitches. What are we doing today? Well, we are taking la cucaracha here, a little cockroach, and uh, we are uh, converting it to a foot clutch uh, jockey shift. So I made a video on this. Maybe I'll post it. Maybe I won't. It doesn't fucking matter. Basically, uh, took an old uh, shifter thing here. They ignored the booger weld. It really doesn't fucking matter much because it's a fucking rat bike, you know. Uh, you know, uh, whatever. And just bent up a piece of a uh, 3 8 inch rod. Threaded it here for a uh, 3 8 20 pitch. A very fucking oddball rare, but you got to do it for these old crystal fucking uh, doorknobs. Because that's what they were. And uh, she, uh, she snakes up under there and it actually works really, really good. So there's no problem there. And that's all you got to do to make your, uh, make your little uh, shifter part work, okay? I, uh, you know, just cut off an extra freaking foot shifter and weld it onto some rod, bend it to shape. Anyhow, the next part of that, though, is uh, the actual foot clutch. This gets a little bit trickier. All right. I already explained all this in the previous fucking video that I fucking realized I was filming in fucking vertical instead of fucking horizontal, and nobody wants to fucking see that. You know, I mean, it makes my look bigger, but, you know, the rest of it, uh, the women prefer the girth, not the length. So, and I presume you do, too. Uh, I know the gays do, let me tell you. They like that giant shit. It's fucking weird, man. Go to a sex shop, you'll find out. Anyway, if I have not turned all the rest of you off, I'm going to turn you on back now by, uh, you know, uh, making some more se sexual innuendos. So, step one is we took some uh, three-quarter inch uh, rod we just, uh, we just had laying around. You know, just a piece of fucking bar stock. And this is just an old antique fucking 1930 South Bend Lay. So we're not, uh, there's no, precision is not exactly in our uh, strength here, you know. A lot of things are not in my strengths. So we turn it down till the, we wanted it to be, so this wrench, which I bent up, which is why I used to keep grabbing that fucking wrench. I always get like a relationship with it or something, and I do. Um, turn it all the time, but, so I just heat her up, bent her in a couple ways. I thought might be a, you know, appropriate. And the idea here is it goes onto the shaft on your bike, that direction, sideways, and you just press down and boop, it works. And I made it, I overshot this side, but this end right here is better. Now this is the second one of these I've made, okay? The first one I made, well, I, I, I fucking, I dropped the bike, you know, and we broke it. But then I learned, I was like, hey, I can improve it, uh, you know, uh, uh, six million dollar man style. We're going to try and make this thing even better. First off, bumblefuckery here going on. Um, so we turned it down so this will basically press fit onto there. This allows me to press fit it on, test it, test it, test it. And then once it's in place, booger weld this freaking wrench back on here. I had to cut it off <laughs> a while back. As you can see, so assuming that turns this okay now why do you want this to turn what is this thing this is going to get cut off here right about the red line well we're we're fudging it a little next step on that was we turn this outside here focus you fuck there you go look at that you see i overshot my little thing here just a little tiny bit for the press fit <laughs> oops it doesn't matter it's on the inside this thing can be way thinner all the fucking way down it doesn't matter at all uh board it out to a seven millimeter hole I got, I'm a rare person, the fucking idiot's got fucking metric fucking drill bits, so hey, that worked out. Um, bored it all the way through to about the red line, so it's a hollow uh, tube right now, and uh, then bored it all the way for this. Now, this is my, going to be the adjustment on, for the clutch. So this will go actually go all the way in and thread in like that. Well, it will thread in. I swear to God, it's thread. So I uh, overboard this all the way out to eight millimeter. Actually, I think I use a five sixteenths, but you know, dick or dat, it's a, it's the same thing. Um, so that this will stick out just about right about there, like that, and then you can adjust it. Now this, I may make another one of these. I I boogered this one up, but that doesn't matter. Um, it's just a, a, a alternator support uh, stud for like a GM product or something. So we're probably finding another fresher one. But it, it's the design phase, you know, but the, the concept's still the same. It still works just fine. So 
This is threaded up in here, and this can only be fed through the back way. It cannot be fed through this way because it's, you know, style shaft. And I want it to be straight dead on so that it, she, so that she, oh, hey, the lady love this. Um, there you go, machine. So that it sticks out like that. Only the thread ends down here. It doesn't really need to go much further than that. So that's that part. Then, now, unfortunately, I did not have the right metric size large die cut. I've got metric taps in everything. I've got all the 14s all the way up to big. And I've got all the small ones, except for in 12s. <laughs> it's fucked. Uh, so I had, to, uh, I had to get a little creative here. I'm like, okay, what's well, the fucking closest thing I had, which was... Uh, half inch 13 so we're gonna so we cut these threads to half inch 13 that was actually so far been proved the big the biggest most difficult part besides everybody fucking wanting to fucking call me and interrupt me while I'm trying to fucking work on this damn project so and uh, even on the previous video video there I I, I, I done uh, I done uh, the, 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 the show this but I'm gonna show it to you again because I didn't fucking post the other one because I fucking got interrupted in my fucking video post you making you know so as we can see, this is how your clutch works. Now, unfortunately, this is an exact mirror image as your original one, and it does it, it, it screws, but it does it goes the wrong fucking direction. And to make this work, I'd have to make a heel clutch, which this would work to make it a heel clutch. It would fucking totally work. But I don't know if my foot's gonna fucking bend that fucking direction. So we're stuck with the original design. As you can see, you got the original one here. We got the little uh, adjuster screw. Oh, oh thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, you're just fucking taunting me now. And I got the fan going right now, so if you you hear the noise, ah, uh, fuck you. It's your problem. Shouldn't have watched my, uh, yeah, and if you don't like the cursing, I curse in my videos too. So if you don't fucking like that, you can fuck off as well. Uh, you loosen this little nut, you adjust a little screw here uh, with a Phillips head. And uh, this is the original. Um, that was on the bike. We're trying to keep this one intact. I actually have another one floating around here some fucking where. Um, but I don't know where. So I, we may use this one. We may use the other one that I've already modified somewhat. Um, the goal here, we're going to use this pretty one as our sample. So you have an idea of what's really happening here. We don't need this part. This part is irrelevant. This goes into the bike. Not what we're here for. You're going to take this piece and we're going to overbore this thing and tap it for this thread pitch. So currently it has an M8125 thread pitch uh, for that little screw. But, and you're going to lose your little uh, little dingo ball berry. But I got another, I've got this bear ball in here. I've got another one on the ground over there. So, you know, I put it on the ground so that I can kick it out in the fucking thing and lose it in the grass someday, you know. Yeah, I got a bunch of bikes here. And just, you know, whatever. Doing stuff. So, you drill and tap on there, that way we can screw this directly on to here. That was one of my problems before. And then we're up, we may, we're probably going to, definitely going to Loctite it. We may actually drill a very, very small little hole through here, tap it, and put a set screw in between the threads on this. And that way, she locks on here and she doesn't stay off. Because the previous one I did, I tried to weld these, weld the two pieces together. And while it worked... Um, you spend a lot of time with a fucking Dremel and a file <laughs> trying to clean it up so that you can feed this whole operation through. Now, when you go to feed this through, you have to feed it backwards through the inside of the cover. Imagine this is screwed down boop, with the two little screws. You have then feed this operation right here through here, which is why it's this exact size. There's a reason why I went to the 15 millimeter. You're like, well, that's a fucking random ass fucking thing to do, buddy. What the fuck you thinking there? So I had to make it so it was a loose fit through here, just enough. You know, I got ideas here. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm making uh, the thinkings. Then, this will actually end up being on here. You got to just kind of pretend this is all one big piece and that it actually functionally works. Hope that made sense to anybody. Now you've just got a shaft sticking out of the side of... Oh! 
your stator chain cover thing out of here. Okay. Ignore this little ring. This is part of the top secret hydraulic clutch thing that I also got going on for the inside, but that's for a future freaking uh, video there you're gonna get. So once I master all this and get used to riding the bike like this, we're gonna do a hydraulic one. I've got parts coming. I think I can, fig I think I can figure this one out. So, uh, so now you've got a shaft sticking out of the side of this, just a bare shaft. And on the tip of the shaft will be um, your little uh, adjuster, there you go, adjuster right here. Now, like I said, these boogers, the boogered up uh, end here, I'll probably just go in my toolbox. I've got uh, extra of these alternator bracket bolts, so eh, they're just for, you know, GM cars. I end up with a lot of extra parts, because I'm a mechanic by trade, so I get free nuts and bolts forever. You know, you just don't put the car completely back together, and you just ship it, and, uh, you know, anything, any leftover nuts, bolts, and brackets, well, that was over-engineering to begin with. Thank you, Amir, for that. You're my buddy. He doesn't watch my videos, because, you know, I, I, I'm uh, profane. You know, he's, he's, a good, he's, a good, he's a good Muslim, you know? He's my buddy. I like him, man. I try not to curse or uh, be, a, be a perverted when he's around. See how that just rolled right in now you've got your little shaft here that's part one uh, you take your little uh, your little bent up uh, wrenchy poo here a little wrench dabu that I uh, that I uh, did right here you press this little honky on here boop and you tack weld it I may actually put a flat on this thing drill it and tap it all the way through or put a set pin so that it's more serviceable. Initially, I welded this thing on, but the problem with that is it means you got to cut the fucking weld to get uh, to get, ever get it apart from that housing. I don't have an extra housing, so you know, I go on eBay and I think they're like fifty to a hundred bucks. But now that guy's a he's a cheap ass honky. Well, that's what's uh, that's what's going on there, um, and then you have a foot clutch. And just so you know, 12 minutes fucking in here, 100%, I've ridden this bike all over, no problem. It worked just fucking fine. Until I went to the junkyard and then dropped it in the gravel and immediately broke my shitty fucking welds. Uh, where's the other previous piece I made? Because, oh yeah, and I broke this. This is, the, this is my current uh, dilemma right here. It broke. So don't drop your bike, which is part of the reason why I'm doing my other top secret project, but that's a sec separate thing. This is the initial one I made. Uh, focus. A uh, little threads in there. I did not see it initially. I welded it straight to my piece. Uh, to the screw drive, the, wherever the hell that is. See, I ended up picking up a bunch of these things from a whole bunch of Yamaha ones, just trying different techniques and trips. I'd like to make that all aluminum one jobber there that was sitting there work, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I don't know what I did with the broken one. So I may have to drill this one out and tap it. But welding this together was a big fucking mistake. Don't make mistakes. Learn from, learn from, uh, learn from Malachi's fucking dumbass. And then you got yourself a suicide clutch. And, you know, yeah, okay, then you go to your little local bike meets. And, uh, you know, you got a freaking ride in there, and, you know, I'm riding on the, the piece of shit. The only piece of shit that's there. Because everybody else has got these fucking brand new fucking Harleys. Well, a few Harleys, not many. A uh, local one here, here is all fucking cock, cock rotchets and shit. You know, those cunts. And, uh, you know, they, they mildly give me respect. I got a 2023 Indian Chief there, and it's, it's freaking fun. Um, they, uh... <laughs> They roll their eyes at the old uh, behind it there. I got the, the the little 250 Rebel. That thing's like riding a fucking moped. That's for my. I bought that for my wife. And uh, most of them look at this. Oh, it's a fucking Harley shit. Just old junk. Even though <laughs> they don't realize that this is actually a yeah, kickstart only. Four speeds. Four speeds. Uh, got their fucking original fucking Pogo. Oh yeah. I may switch it back to tank shift here. I don't know. I, uh, I broke up the pieces to do it. So you're right up there on this fucking thing, and you know, and you you, you got to like, you know, look down on every fucking one of them because you're driving a jog, and you got to make sure when they when you pull in, they have to see you physically shifting so that you know they they know how fucking much more badass you are than they are. But uh, I digress. Fifteen fucking minutes, you ain't freaking learned a goddamn thing. Other than it is physically possible to do exactly what I'm doing. 
I wanted to make this so that it's doable and then undoable in the future freaking uh, point in case I don't fucking like it anymore and I want to put the freaking uh, little uh, you know the uh, the the little uh, finger squeezer there you know uh, it, I'm not fucking 14 no more my fucking grip isn't as strong peace out bitches